You're watching Central Illinois' best source for news and weather. WAND News at Noon starts now. Prince Philip, dead at 99. We'll take a look back at his life as the Queen and all of the UK mourn his loss. But first, an increase in shootings across central Illinois has police searching for answers. But as WND's Chris Carter shows us, officers are often frustrated by lack of cooperation by witnesses. They are the scenes playing out all too often in central Illinois communities. Shootings are becoming more common. Just recently, the violence, unfortunately. The city of Champaign seeing a concerning rise in the numbers. Most of the crimes between people who have beef with each other, and in some cases, it's violence between gangs. There are loosely associated gangs in the Champaign community. Police are asking anyone who knows something to come forward. Champaign police say they do not believe these shootings are random. And you can read more about news programs they have started to help on our website, WANDTV.com. President Joe Biden just issued an executive action on guns. The president is banning parts used to make ghost guns and regulating stabilizing braces on pistols. He is also urging the Department of Justice to publish model legislation on red flag laws. Those laws would allow families or police to request the courts to temporarily remove guns from people who are a danger to themselves or others. Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth is applauding the actions taken by President Biden. Duckworth says the country owes it to victims to make sure violent crimes do not continue. Springfield city leaders aren't seeing eye to eye, at least not about the mayor's authority to spend money. A few aldermen on the city council are frustrated after the mayor recently gave tens of thousands of dollars to the local NAACP chapter. But as WND's Tristan Hardy shows us, the mayor says this is, quote, micromanagement at its highest level. What it will take to move our city. So Mayor Jim Langfelder has the authority to spend thousands of dollars without council approval. Anything uh, that's not a sole source contract, we can spend up to $50,000 with. But members of the council want to slice the limit to $10,000. A move like that, Langfelder says, would impact every city department. Uh, any expenditure, if it's public works or if it's the CWLP, you know, that deals with multi-million dollar contracts, uh, all those, anything over 10000 would have to go for an ordinance for their approval. Why now all of a sudden? I think it comes from um, NAA. The next Springfield City Council meeting is coming up on April 20th. Illinois State University is considering higher tuition rates. In a recent meeting, the university's president suggested raising tuition by 1 to 2 percent. Now, that change might not seem like a large amount. The change would bring in an additional $2 million a year. If passed, the increase would only impact new incoming students. And outside, plenty of sunshine, the birds are singing, and the flowers are blooming. Casey, I am loving this weather. What can we expect for the rest of the day? Hey, yeah, you hit the nail on the head there. It has been a gorgeous day across central Illinois. The birds are chirping, flowers are blooming, trees are budding. I do have some wet weather in the forecast. Stick around for that coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Casey. Well, Britain's Prince Philip has died at age 99. Philip was the longest serving consort of a reigning British monarch, spending decades married to Queen Elizabeth. Mark Barger takes a look back at Prince Philip's life. Prince Philip was the man behind the throne, full of support and love for his queen and his wife. Queen Elizabeth is said to have decided as a 13-year-old she would someday marry her penniless Greek cousin after a chance meeting at the Royal Naval College. Years later, Elizabeth's governess described it as a classic story of love at first sight over a meal of shrimp. Still ahead, a school on the move. Why this historic building is moving to a new spot and what the community plans to do with it. You won't want to miss this. Stay with us. 